Help me! Help me! Please! Somebody! Anybody! Please! Those were my last words before I was dragged into the unknown depths. No matter my screams, no one came to aid me that day. And why would anyone? I'd failed. Just like her. Countless moons ago, there was once a warrior of glass. My predecessor. Night after night, she fended our sentient wrath, but one day, even she was eventually broken. Giving up her very own life, she cut off her enemy from the sentient consciousness and scattered the remains throughout the land. In following her duty, she was shattered apart, and I was sent to pick up the pieces. The slain beast was given a new name, Eidolon, yet the burden of watching over its shambling corpse fell to me. Night after night, I carried on where my forerunner had fallen. Night after night, the slumbering husk would rise again to wonder, mindlessly searching to once again be whole. Night after night, the behemoth would wail into the heavens, seeking to rejoin its brethren. Night after night, the beast would live only to die again by my hand, because night after night, it was always only me. Always only me. Until the beast finally spoke. In the void, time squirms within the darkness. The twisting darkness. Time bends against the breeze. But there is no breeze. Time slows against pain. Time is slow, bending low, breaking in. Through the wind, time goes on. Time goes long, on and off. Not to stop, end is near. Live in fear. Time is slow. Time is slow. Am I mad? Or have I been tainted? Would I even know? Enough. Enough! For too long have I spent my days hunting the same beast. No, not a beast. A corpse. A broken, rotten, shambling corpse. A corpse that I shall free myself from chasing. I grip my weapon, poised to slay the beast that torments me, only for it to reach out and hold me with its tendrils. In the void, cold shivers with the darkness, the impossible darkness. This is the void, but not the void, for in it lies glinting eyes. Demons lurk in the deep shadow, hiding view. To not look through, something glows, and then it goes. There is no light, put up no fight, give it in. Air is thin, breathe in slow, let it go, give it in, give it in. The Eidolon corpse strengthens its grip as it drags me down beneath the waves. The ocean covered me until I sank slowly but surely. Maybe if I make a big enough mess, a disaster. Maybe if I scratch the surface, or even throw a fit, I could really be noticed. Maybe then I'll hit the bottom of the ocean, where the sounds of mockery and foolishness can never dream of reaching me. Maybe I don't want to swim, and let the eerie depths hold me tighter and tighter. I sigh for the ocean to carry my screams, and I scream to find my voice. And yet, here I remain. Where exactly I do not know. All within sight is pitch black. For how long, I cannot say. Time loses meaning in the darkness. There is no up. There is no down. Only depth. Recovering my senses, I kick and stab at the Eidolon, thrashing to free myself. Its tendrils begin crushing my legs, but there are none who would hear the sound of the struggle or my screams. The Eidolon speaks from all sides. You, you are not a bringer of chaos. You are not meant to kill or destroy, but now no other being can exist in your presence. You can never be allowed to return to what you once were. You will be forever tainted with our scourge, and you can never escape it. No. No. No! My chest burns with an unfamiliar strength, struggling with all the might my being can afford against the Eidolon's grip around me. 
I cut and slice at every possible piece of the Eidolon gripping me, with as much force as I can muster, wishing to free myself from this monster and this place. But it continues to tighten its grip on me as my limbs slowly grow numb. Until the last, I will remain defiant. Until the last, I will fight on. Until the last. Until the last. You can do nothing, because you can do nothing. Yield to us, for we are no longer any different. Yield to yourself, for you are simply a mirror of our potential. Give in to us, for our being is pure wrath. Give in to yourself, for you bear the sin of sloth.